Australia's bid for the 2022 World Cup is successful or not. So alongside me here, Gabriel Marcotti and Shanka Hislop. Gabriel, you're, you're somewhat of an international man of history. Uh, you get around quite a bit. So you rub shoulders with all, all of the, the people in the corridors of power. What do you think of the reality right now when you look at the 2022 bid and how Australia stands against their main opponents, the United States, Qatar, which is a bit of a dark horse, Japan and South Korea? Well, I actually think uh, um, that Ben Buckley and his team have done a pretty good job, and, and I think Australia are not in a bad position. Uh, I don't think you know the, red, the other Asian bids are, are really that serious. Uh, you know, Japan and Korea, everything's there, the infrastructure's there, but guys, they just had a crack 20 years ago. You know, let's mm -hmm. let somebody else in. I mean, Qatar is, is, is a country, uh, is, is, a, is a tiny nation. I don't think they're in a position to do it. I, I think that that's you know, a lot of very well financed bid. I don't think it's realistic, so I really think it's going to come down to Australia versus the United States. And I think, you know, why I see Australia as, as the favourite, I think that they are in the mix. Uh, I think they, it's, it's, you know, it's a diverse country, it's a sport-loving country. I think they're doing a pretty good job marketing themselves. What they've got going against them, of course, is geography. Nothing you can do about that. But as they often mention, you know, they are part of Asia. They feel very Asian. And, and this is the fastest-growing uh, economy in the world. And that's something they're playing on, apart from the fact that uh, that Australia has a, a proven track record at hosting major international events. The will is there, but with the United States there in the shadows, what, what are your thoughts? Is the US going to come out on top for you? I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, again, I, I continue to believe that, that Seb Blatter wants to break new ground. He's, he's well, made no secret of the fact that he's pushing for another term. He's very proud of the fact that he brought the World Cup to African soil. And he continues uh, about talking about a legacy, leaving a legacy. And I feel that legacy is not only bound in Africa with, the, with them hosting the World Cup, but he wants to see more countries host World Cups for the first time, which, of course, Australia fits the bill and the U.S. have already hosted themselves uh, not so long ago. Okay, well, we'll be finding out pretty soon. Thank you very much.